Sorry about that. Wait. <clears throat> Excuse me. Welcome back, everyone, to another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. I apologize for that. But uh, let's continue where we left off. I'm going to start off back now with the kickoff show with the tag team action. It's going to be the likes of the Brotherhood of Cody Rhodes and Goldust taking on Ryback, so which is Ryback and Curtis Axel. This should be an amazing match. And I'm leaning towards going for the Brotherhood of Goldust and Cody Rhodes. Because as you see, uh, it's been several weeks since the Brotherhood lost their tag match, their tag titles, back at the Royal Rumble pay-per-view event. So they want revenge on the Outlaws, and they got it this Sunday at the Elimination Camera kickoff. Former best friends, the primetime players, will go one-on-one. The real deal, Titus O'Neil and Mr. No Days Off, Ty- Darren Young, will get their chance to go one-on-one. It's going to be a great match. Um, looks like I'm going to go with Mr. No Days Off, Darren Young. Um, I don't know why, but something tells me that he will uh, get the win in this pay-per-view. And then we go to the WWE Tag Team Championship match between the New Age Outlaws. That, um, uh, is the B-A-double-D badass Billy Gunn and the Road Dog Jesse James, taking on the Jimmy and Jay Uso, the Usos. Um, it's going to be a great match. Ooh, I love both of these teams. And I'm really thinking that I'm going to go for the Usos. Um, if I'm wrong, then I'm sorry. But I'm... It's... But I, but that's just my opinion. I'm just going to go for the Usos because I think they're going to win. And now for the Intercontinental Championship, we're going to see Big E Langston going one-on-one with the All-American American. Jack Swagger. Now, Big E Langston, man, ever since he won the uh, Intercontinental Championship, he's been undefeated. And he's been amazing. So, that is my choice, my pick for the, to win the, inter, to regain that Intercontinental title. Now, Jack Swagger, I, I, I want to uh, give it a little bit on Jack Swagger. Jack Swagger is an amazing athlete. Well, one, he's the All-American American. And he's very amazing at what he does, but I'm going to choose Big E Langston to regain the Intercontinental Championship. Now, we go to an amazing matchup. It's the Mexican aristocrat Alberto Del Rio taking on the returning The Animal, Batista. Now, as we saw a week ago, a week ago, The Animal, Batista... Well, he sort of did some, a little bit of job, I would say, on Alberto when when he drove Alberto through the announce table. So, I'm going for the Animal Batista. He will win and make his way to WrestleMania 30, which is in two months. Can't wait for that pay-per-view. Because that's going to be for an amazing... Uh, bit of, uh, well, that's the first... Pay, big pay-per-view for the WWE Network. I'll be talking about that in just a minute. Okay, the next match is a six-man tag team match. It's the Shield. The likes of Dean Ambrose, Roman Reigns, and Seth Rollins will meet the Wyatt family. Uh, Bray Wyatt, Eric Rowan, and Luke Harper. It's going to be an amazing match. Has Has... We kicked off Raw the night after the Royal Rumble. It was John Cena, Sheamus, and Daniel Bryan. Well, they went one on one with the, the the Shield, but that was the Raw main event. So the Wyatt family they um, sort of got involved in the match. That's how uh, the the Shield got uh, counted out. So you see. If the Shield wins, they would got their spots for the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view. I mean, the match. So, then the Y family gets on interfering in the Shield's matches until it all went down like this past week on Raw. So, looking forward to this match. Been looking forward to it since God knows when. 
But I'm aiming and I'm going towards the shield uh, for this match. And your main event of the evening is the six-man elimination chamber match. I am so excited to see these men go at it in the elimination chamber match. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be Daniel Bryan, Christian, Antonio Cesaro taking on Randy Orton, John Cena, and Sheamus. Whoever wins this match will be the brand new face of the WWE and the new WWE World Heavyweight Champion. Now, uh, what I just mentioned just now uh, will be the biggest match in WWE history. I saw every Elimination Chamber match since it debuted back at Survivor Series 2002, back at the Garden. Uh, the Garden is one of the famous arena in the world, and you, and you got to understand that a lot of things happen in the ma- in Madison Square Garden. So, um, wow, uh, I got a. Uh, well, my sources are telling me on three gentlemen to win and become face. Christian, Daniel Ryan, no, actually four guys. Christian, Daniel Ryan, Sheamus, and John Cena. Uh, I don't know who, uh, who will win, but I'm leaning towards Christian, Daniel Bryan, or John Cena uh, to win. Um, it's been a while since we saw Christian since his shoulder shoulder injury, but uh, it's good to see him back in the WWE. He's been on a roll since he returned back at SmackDown. Glad to see him back. And uh, can't wait for the pay-per-view this weekend. It's going to be a must-see pay-per-view event. Um, I am not going to rate this. Uh, It's pretty difficult to rate. But anyway, let me talk about now the upcoming WWE Network, which launches Right after, right after Raw goes off the air, next Monday night, the night after the Elimination Chamber pay-per-view, uh, you can get it on Apple TVs, your iPhone 5, I think your, I think Droids too, and definitely Apple, Apple TVs and your iPads, you're gonna get everything, it's $9.99 per month. And a one week free trial. Wow. I mean, I gotta tell you, this WWE network will change the face of the WWE. It is so big. I'm so excited. I know a lot of people will be getting the WWE network. So am I. Because this is part of my birthday present. But I can't wait to get that. So, that's, that's gonna be a great uh, thing to get and to check out a lot of amazing pay per views. And I, we just, I just, and also, I received word that the WWE 2014 WWE Hall of Fame in its entirety will be on the WWE Network the night before WrestleMania 30. I can't wait to watch the Hall of Fame because I watch it. I try to watch the Hall of Fame every year, and I'm just so excited to see Lita go in the Hall of Fame, Jake the Snake Roberts, and the Ultimate Warrior. Who knows who will induct them? Uh, that's, that's still to come to find out. There's more inductees to come in the upcoming weeks leading to WrestleMania 30. I'm very excited to see that. Okay, and now, it's my, well, it's my responsibility to tell everyone that, um, it's my responsibility to let everyone know that it's sad to see uh, Mabel, Team Mabel, v- better known as Viscerum and Big Daddy D, better known as Nelson Fraser Jr. Everyone, I am sad to tell you that Nelson Fraser has Nelson Fraser Jr. passed away just last night. At the age of 42, uh, he suffered a heart attack. My heart, my pray, my heart, and, and my prayers are with the Fraser family. I am very sorry on the passing 
but um, just want to uh, say that he was an amazing man, and I will always remember watching him. Uh, rem remember back at <clears throat> at WrestleMania 16 in the Hardcore Battle Royal match, he has held the Hardcore title for a little bit. Uh, he also won the King of the Ring back in 95. And the HDW Championship. But, Nelson Frazier Jr. will always be in our hearts and never forgotten. Nelson, I will be praying for you and your family at this time of need. And I'm very sorry. We love you, Nelson Frazier Jr. Thank you for everything you've done in your career. We love you so much. You will be met, missed, my friend. I will see you someday again. <clears throat> well, that's going to that's gonna do it for this week's edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. If you want to follow me on social media, you can. You can add me on Facebook at Matt Man Nelson. If you want to follow me on Twitter, you can. You can follow me at Matt Nelson 83. Also, subscribe to my YouTube channel. Go back, watch all my amazing videos I put up from episode one. From episode one, I believe, to episode 39. Let me double check. Hang on. To um episode one to episode thirty eight. This is my thirty eighth show, so make sure you do that. Add a comment in the comment bar. I'll be happy to comment back whenever I get the chance to. And uh have a great week everyone and stay tuned. Oh, yeah, and also I want to announce, be sure you stick around this weekend. will be will be the return of the Production Show exclusive episode 2. I will be talking about the rules of the Elimination Camera match. Everyone out there, if you want to know how the Elimination Camera match works, it's very easy, and it's very easy. So, I'll be doing that this Saturday, so stay tuned. I will, uh... Do that. Now, if you want to follow me, you can add me at Facebook at Matt Man Nelson. On Twitter, Matt Nelson83. If you have an Instagram account, follow me at Matt Nelson83 as well. And subscribe to my YouTube channel, episode 1 to 38. And thank you everyone for tuning in to this week's edition of the Pro Wrestling Show. I will see you again this Saturday for episode 2 of the Pro Wrestling Show exclusive and next Monday. For another edition of the Pro Wrestling Show promo. Have a great week everyone. Enjoy Impact. Enjoy tonight's main event. And tomorrow night's Impact, Impact Live. See you next week everyone.